Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. Today we are going to be continuing our beach decorating series. I did create two videos already decorating my left side of my island's beach. And today we are going to be decorating my beach that is in the lower bottom of my island. So let's get right into the video. So here is the beach that I'm going to be decorating. We have Chrissy here to not help us, but to be in the way as we're decorating. This beach is pretty long, so I'm excited to decorate it. For this beach, I took inspiration from the scene where Alice meets Absalom. It's the scene right before she meets him and it's where all of the flowers start talking. So I was looking at the backgrounds of that scene and I saw like a bunch of mushrooms and flowers and I just wanted to recreate that scene and kind of transform it into a mushroom forest, but on my beach. But for this little area, it is in front of my museum's entrance. So I wanted it to be a little area where once you come out of the museum with your coffee that you bought from Brewster, you can just sit here and just relax, maybe read a book or something. So that is what I'm doing here. And I found this blue sunflower blanket design on Pinterest. And I just felt like it went so well with the gingham turquoise blanket. So a lot of blues are happening in this little area. Before I go and rant about some Thing because you know me I always rant about something in my videos but my official theme for my next island will be cottage core beauty and the beast and someone pointed out that beauty and the beast kind of already has that elegant core aspect to it so I will probably be doing an elegant core cottage core featuring beauty and the beast core island <laughs> super long descriptive theme but it is what it is and I'm very excited about starting a new island if elegant core was gonna win I was probably going to do an all blue or an all pink elegant core island so I'll have everything in one color even the villagers because I saw someone do that a long long time ago and I just thought it looked so beautiful and elegant because all of the villagers were all one color everything was all one color and it just made the island look super exotic and beautiful but I'm super excited because if you have been subscribed to me for a long time, you know how much I love Disney and how much I love Beauty and the Beast. I love decorating very bright, colorful, girly builds. So now I'm going to dabble into the cottage core elegant style. And it's going to be completely different than what I'm used to doing, but it's going to be so much fun because I have so many ideas now and I will be restarting one of my switches. And now I have to work on moving all of my bells and items onto this island so that I can restart and bring everything back from this island to my new one because I refuse to start all over from scratch. So I'm going to help myself help myself. <laughs> This is super random, but I did read somewhere that helping each other is considered cheating in this game. For example, if I needed a fossil to finish my museum and one of you guys had that fossil and was like, oh, here, you can have mine. I don't need it. And I go take it and donate it to my museum. That's apparently cheating because I didn't get it myself. I was like, um, okay. I bought this game, so I'm going to play it how I want. If I want to time travel, if I want to cheat, I'm going to do it all day, every day. But let me tell you something. All of these hybrid flowers that you see on my island, you guys had asked me before to create a video about how I do the hybrid flowers. I bought every single one of these from Nikazan or I grabbed them from Treasure Islands. I cannot grow any hybrid flowers, even if I tried. I think the only hybrid flowers that I created, and they were by accident, were the green mums and the blue hyacinths when i tell you i spent months trying to get blue roses on my own and it wasn't working i kept confusing the red roses that i had the blue jeans with the roses that i had already planted because i just forgot which one i planted and i just messed everything up either that or they transformed into black roses so actually i know that i said green mums and blue hyacinths were the ones that i accidentally created but i just remember that my very very first hybrid flower were black roses and I remember when I first saw them I thought that they were dead I was watering them trying to bring them back to life and then I googled it and it said yeah black roses are a thing in this game but yeah I say all of that to say that I cheat in this game and I feel like that's such a stupid rule I don't think Nintendo actually enforces anything because then we will all have banned accounts 
I told you guys, I go on rants all the time. But anyways, we're almost done with this build and Chrissy was here in my way the whole time. I had to stop midway because she was not budging. She was staying at her little spot, drinking her little drink. She wasn't moving at all and I was trying to decorate around her, but I had to stop decorating and wait for her to move so that I can finish. Don't you just love when your villager babies do that? There's times where I'm running, pushing these villagers out of my way because one my spaces are super tight and two they're just standing there most of the time in my way but you gotta love them but yeah I'm just adding some final touches. I'm adding some mushrooms and pine cones just to kind of add to that fall feel that Alice in Wonderland has. And then we're finishing off the build with this log path, which you guys already know that I love so much. I've used this in all of my builds and I will leave all of the codes that I used in this build in the description below. And once we are finished adding that, we are done with this build. Here is how our beach picnic area looks. I really love the sunflower blanket custom design code that I found. I feel like it really pairs with the gingham blanket so well. And then this sofa just elevates everything. I'm super obsessed with this little area and I love the fountain in the back. It just adds such a nice ambiance. Here is the middle part of the build. I love this area a lot. I love how you can see everything and I love the little petal umbrella and the pansy table. They just look like giant flowers and I love it. And finally, here is how the last part looks. This part is next to my airport. So when you're flying over, you'll probably be able to see it. I'm going to include a flyover in one of my videos so you guys can see how everything looks. And we have Chrissy still here. I guess she's such a fan of this whole build because she wouldn't leave. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. We have about two or three more videos left of me decorating and then my island tour should be out right after that. I'm also decorating my house slowly and I'll include a house tour when I do the island tour so you guys can have everything in one video. But yeah, I love you all so much. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!